Welcome to the SAP Business One version for SAP HANA, HANA Feature Series. Today we'll talk about dashboards. To create dashboards, I'm going to use the Pervasive Analytics Center from the toolbar at the top. The Pervasive Analytics allows me to maintain and create my KPIs, dashboards, as well as advanced dashboards. You would notice that starting uh, 9.2 patch level 4, we have a new advanced dashboard, Customer 360, uh, and we're going to use that in our dashboard today. So in this case, I'm going to create a new dashboard. And the first thing I need to do is create, is select the data source. The data source can either be a query or it can be a calculation view. And the calculation view are either views that are pre-delivered from um, SAP Business One or ones that you created and deployed in the company database. In this case, I'm going to use the profitability analysis uh, semantic layer. So I'm going to start analyzing gross profit. So first thing, I'm going to drag gross profit as a target measure. I want to take a quick look at gross profit by uh, by year, so I can do a comparison. So I'm going to grab the uh, posting date right here, and immediately it's going to do a comparison for each year. Of course, I can play around with it and if I want to look at quarters instead of years. Once I do that, I can enable a time slider, where I can restrict the number of quarters in this case that I see. So I just want to start from beginning of 2015, and see uh, 2016. So Q1 2015 until Q3 2016. Another nice option is to use the legend. So this allows me to, to do a comparison between three different uh, parameters. So in this case, I'm going to take the business partner group name, drag it right here. By default, I'm going to have the three, the first three options checked. If I want to choose to select other ones, I can do that, but I'm going to keep the first three. And there you go. I will have a comparison of gross profit by quarter by customer group. So each uh, color represents a different group. The blue is construction, the green is customers, the orange is distributors. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And now I'm going to do a different uh, report by business partner code. So a quick report, show me the gross profit by business partners. I want to add the net sales amount. I can now change maybe to a stacked column chart so I can see it in a different way. Now I would like to add as well the quantities. So I would like to measure my customers by all three parameters of gross profit, sales, and quantities. And for that, a uh, good idea is to use the bubble chart. Bubble chart will give me uh, a bubble for each customer. Um, and the size of the bubble and the location of the bubble is dependent on all three parameters in this case, the gross profit, the sales amount, and the quantity. With this bubble chart type, I can also cluster my data using the k-mean clustering option. This option will take all my customers in the chart and will divide them to groups based on uh, good, medium, and bad. Um, if we can call it a bad customer, but a profitable, less profitable, uh, and least. Um, of course, I can uh, also increase the number of clusters if I want to uh, do maybe five clusters in this example. So the division will be a little bit more detailed. So again, it's immediately the, the best customers stand out uh, and so on. Now let's go, go ahead and um, get rid of the clustering, get rid of the quantity, and we go back to uh, a column chart. So I have a quick column chart of uh, customer, gross profit, and sales amount. Now I would like to show you how to use the actions. So I'm going to go up here, click on actions, 
and I have the two kinds of actions. So first I can display dashboard in a sidebar. So if I click on the plus, I can uh, add this dashboard as a sidebar, for example, to my business partner uh, window. And you're going to see how that looks in a second. Uh, I'm going to uh, give it a name, maybe sales uh, versus gross profit. I'm going to link it to the business partner. And of course, I have to make sure BP code equals the business partner code from the dashboard. Next, I'm going to use the actions to be triggered. And here I have three type of actions. First one is just open a window. So um, when I go into the dashboard, I want to open BP master. Again, I'm going to uh, make sure that I have the, uh, the join right here between the BP code and BP code. So it knows exactly which customer to open. The second one would be enterprise search. So I'm going to search BP, of course, the BP, um, BP code, and this will trigger enterprise search. And the final one is the advanced dashboard. So here I'm going to use my customer 360, which is already available. And as well, I have to identify the joins between the dashboards. Now, remember, when you uh, create um, advanced dashboards, you have to be conscious about uh, the binding conditions and that you can actually do that filtering. Uh, so you only see information that is regarding that customer. So I'm done. I'm going to save this dashboard, maybe call it uh, sales again versus gross profit, oops, save it. Now I'm back in the cockpit, so let's go ahead and add that dashboard to my cockpit so I can start using it. So let's try to find it. Here is my sales versus uh, gross profit. I added it to my um, cockpit. I'm going to see it at the bottom right here. Of course, I can move it if I wanted to. And here is my dashboard. So I can just use it as is. Uh, and then I can start using the, the insight to action. So when I right click, I, can, I will see all those three actions, the triggers. The first one is open business partner master. So there it is. I can you know learn more about the customer. Um, and then uh, remember, we added the sidebar. So this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see um, the dashboard, but specific for MaxiTech in this example. If I scroll or browse to other customers, the amount will change because it's going to filter the information based on the customer I'm looking at. Let's look at the other one, which is a search BP that will trigger my enterprise search. It's as if I went to enterprise search and typed in to uh, C2000, etc. And I can continue from there. And then the final one for MaxiTech is the customer 360, which will open uh, an alternate kind of cockpit with information about everything about that customer. Uh, I'm going to have four tabs in this example, general, can see information about that customer, total sales, total gross profit, some uh, reporting, churn probability. If I look at sales tab, I can see more information about sales information, like my top five best selling items just for this customer. Number of open orders, uh, number of uh, sales quotations. Look at the logistics tab. I can see some KPIs about fulfillment and receivables, I'm going to see some information about credit limit, receivables, and so on. So these are the dashboards. Regarding the customer 360, if I open the business partner master one more time, I can also, can also access it from here. So you can also view customer 360, and it's going to open the same one, uh, again, directly from the customer master data.
Thank you for your time.